This is the 10219 Maersk container train, and behind that is the 10241 Maersk Triple E. Both vehicles were released in the 2010s as promotional sets for Maersk shipping. Now, LEGO is no stranger to promoting other brands with their products. They've made several Shell themed sets back when they were still partnered with them, but Maersk is a little different. With Shell, it makes sense how they would benefit from the partnership. Kids will ask their parents to buy a gas station set, and that purchase may subconsciously convince them to stop by a Shell station next time they need gas. You won't get the same effect with Maersk. No matter how many Maersk sets they buy, you won't get them to ship something through them. So then, why are there Maersk LEGO sets? What if I told you that Maersk was LEGO's first sponsor? That's right, all those years ago when LEGO was just starting out, Maersk sponsored a LEGO build, and that led to many more sets to come. For the uninformed, Maersk is a Danish shipping company. In fact, it is the largest shipping company in the world. It's possible that some of your household appliances were shipped by Maersk, and you may have seen their iconic shipping container before. Maersk got its start in 1904 as Domskiske Skabel Svenbor, or the steamship company Svenbor. The company would grow establishing a shipyard in 1918 and a monthly route in 1928. Though they lost some ships during World War II, the company recovered afterwards and launched the Regina Maersk in 1955. This was at the time the largest ship they had constructed and was the debut of their signature light blue color. It was around this time that a certain Danish carpentry company began to really push their automatic binding bricks, a product more commonly known as Lego. The Lego group was starting to move away from wooden toys and was focusing more on the plastic bricks. They had recently trademarked the name Lego and had developed several new sets with their branding. It was in 1958 that we'd see the first crossover between Maersk and Lego with the set 0751. The Lego group produced a model of the Regina Maersk made out of Lego. The set came glued together and was only available to Lego retailers for display purposes. The model only vaguely resembled the Regina. It captured the general shape but lacked many of the details. It also lacked the ship's light blue hue. LEGO was early in its life cycle, so this is to be expected. Builds were not as complex as they are nowadays, and specialty pieces did not exist. Both companies would grow and become more prosperous as the years went on. LEGO would sell their products all over the world and create new pieces, sets, and themes. Maersk would build bigger and better ships and would expand their shipping services to all corners of the world. But occasionally, we would see some overlap between the two companies. In 1974, Maersk commissioned the LEGO group to create promotional Maersk sets they could give to their clients. The first of these promotional sets became the 1650 Maersk Line Container Ship. As mentioned, this set was only available to Maersk clients and came with a set of Maersk brochures. This ship amends the previous model's lack of color by introducing a Maersk blue hole piece. Though I can't confirm this, I believe the set is based off the Svenborg Maersk. The ship was built a year prior to the set's release, and they share some design elements. This set marked the official launch of the LEGO Maersk theme. Any future Maersk promotional sets would be released under this line. The following years, we'd see the release of three Maersk truck sets. 1980's 1650-1 Maersk line container lorry, 1985's 1552 Maersk line container truck, and 1995's 1831 Maersk line container lorry. These sets were the first to include minifigures for the Maersk line, and each figure was exclusive to their respective sets. It's not known if these sets are based on real Maersk trucks, but the 1651 resembles a European flat-nosed truck, while the other two resemble American-style trucks. 1831 is interesting in that it has two variants. Around the time of the set's creation, Maersk entered a partnership with the Sealand Corporation. As a result of the partnership, a version of the set was made which included the Sealand name. It was in 2004 that we'd get the next Maersk set, the 10152 Maersk Line Container Ship. This was the first of the Maersk sets to be available for purchase, retailing at $74.99. The set was made to celebrate the launch of one of Maersk's new ships. The general shape of the ship leads me to believe it was based off the Albert Maersk, though I'm not positive. As you can see, the Sealand name is still featured on the side of the model. The set would receive a re-release in 2011, which removed the Sealand name. The set was retitled as the 10155 Maersk Line Container Ship and upped the price to $119.99, though the only additions to the set were two pieces. In 2011, we got a unique entry in the Maersk line, being the 10219 Maersk Container Train. This set retailed at $119.99 and featured a Maersk truck and trailer, three shipping containers, two well cars, and the Maersk locomotive. This set is interesting for a couple reasons. For one, it is based on a real-life locomotive, the Norfolk Southern 3329. 
This engine was repainted with the Maersk branding in 2001 for the grand opening of Maersk's new facility, Pier 400. The engine would remain this way until 2008, when it was repainted to the standard Norfolk Southern colors. Another thing about the engine is that it's the longest diesel locomotive that LEGO has produced. This engine was made slightly longer than most LEGO trains to match the scale of the real engine. As detailed as the engine is, it's not an exact replica. The 10219 seems to take inspiration from a GP40-2 engine, having only 4 axles and a shorter body. 3329 is an SD40-2 engine, having 6 axles and being overall longer. That being said, it is still an impressive model and one that I'm happy to own. In 2013, Maersk would set the record for the world's largest container ship with the Maersk McKinley Moeller. This ship came in at 399 meters long, with a cargo capacity of over 18,000 TEU. Since then, the record has been broken, but it was a rather big deal when they launched the ship. To celebrate, LEGO released the 10241 Maersk Line EEE in 2014. This was a replica of the McKinley Muller, and is by far the most accurate and detailed of the Maersk LEGO sets. It has a total of 1,518 pieces and was priced at $149.99, making it the biggest and most expensive Maersk set. Unfortunately, all these sets were limited releases and have since been discontinued. If you're looking to purchase one of these sets today, you'll be spending at least $300. I'm fortunate enough to have gotten my two sets when I did. The Maersk sets are a unique addition to my collection, and knowing how they came to be makes them that much more special. Perhaps one day we'll get another addition to the Maersk line. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this look at the history of Maersk and Lego.